Hello and welcome to another Magic Duels gameplay. Today we're taking another look at our Blue Red Thopters deck. I won't spend too much time talking about the deck since most of you will already be familiar with it, but uh, to quickly gloss over some of the changes I've made since the last version, I got rid of the Willbreakers, so no longer playing the fancy 5-drop combo. Instead, uh, we're playing more burn spells. I've added the Exquisite Firecraft to the deck, so we have some late-game reach for damage to the opponent's face, also a decent removal spell. And uh, because we now have more instants and sorceries, I think it's worth uh, trying to run Jace for Prology in this deck. can give us some card selection at first, and when he transforms, we can flashback cards from our graveyard, like Exquisite Firecraft, for example, which is pretty nice, and also most opponents will try and focus Jace and will spend a lot of resources trying to deal with it, while we only spent two mana to cast him, which is why it's so good. And uh, then in our two drops we're playing the full amount of Rune Servitor and also three Perilous Mirror, so we can make sure that we have lots of artifacts in play to trigger all our other creatures that care about artifacts. Uh, Chief wants to have lots of artifacts in play, of course. The Engineer gives all artifacts haste. We've got a bunch of Girapur Gear Crafters, just as a nice uh, role player. Uh, two Artificers Epiphany for some card advantage in the late game. And I've already talked about Firecraft. Then, of course, the All Stars of the deck, which are Whirler Rogue and Piant Kieran, both making two Thopters. And then we have a few copies of Reclusive Artificer for some removal and also a nice tempo play if you can take out a big creature and also attack with a 2-3 Haster. And our other card advantage card which is Thopter Spy Network. And then for removal we have the Exquisite Firecraft, the ability on Piant Kieran, we can make our creatures unblockable for some reach as well. And then of course we have Twin Bolts which can also go to the opponent's face and also very versatile at dealing with aggressive decks with lots of one toughness creatures, you can kill two at once. And we have some fiery impulses to punish people trying to put enchantments on their creatures. For one red mana we can kill the creature in response and later in the game with spell mastery three damage is also pretty nice. Alright, so that's the deck. For the lands, still running nine islands, nine mountains, two sulfur falls, and four is at Guildgate, so we make sure we always have double red for Pia and Kieran and Exquisite Firecraft, for example, and double blue for cards like Whirler Rogue and Topter Spy Network, since we really don't want to be stumbling on our mana, so that's why I'm not running any of the colorless Thopter Generator lands. Alright, so let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play, but unfortunately we can't keep a one lander. And this has lots of lands in it, but isn't too bad. And the Rune Servitor when he dies will also give us a card, so I think we can keep, but certainly not the greatest start. But if we, for example, draw a Thopter Spy Network, we can certainly win this game. Or a Whirler Rogue and Piant Kieran can certainly turn the game around. Uh, land is not what we wanted to see. Uh, let's not play blue mana yet, since there's no need to. And pass the turn. And see what we're up against. Green-black, most likely some sort of evolutionary leap deck. There's lots of different flavors of evolutionary leap decks. Alright, Gatecreeper Vine, that's fine. We can still attack into it. And we'll see if our opponent blocks right away or not. And our draw is... alright, another Chief, that's nice. At this point I do want to play my blue mana, so let's play the chief main phase 1, so if our opponent doesn't block we get in for an extra damage. And attack, I'm guessing our opponent's gonna block, but if he has evolutionary leap or maybe bone splinters in hand, he might want to keep the creature around. The downside of not blocking is if we for example draw a fiery impulse next turn we can simply kill this. Um, which 
if our opponent doesn't have any other targets is pretty good for us and then get in for more damage and then he never got to block with the gate creeper vine but as i've said there's lots of reasons why he wouldn't want to block all right flashback marauder means we'll sacrifice the rune servitor and yeah we'll both draw a card off of it all right thopter spy network and now we get to play our chief all right pi and kira interesting so i was gonna play the chief which allowed our first chief to attack into the flashback as it would have been a 3-4 but now i think i want to play pi and kiran to set up a pretty powerful thopter spy network turn since we'll have flying creatures which are hard to block and i think let's see what happens if our opponent has a language for example then it would probably be better to play the chief first because I would rather have P and Kieran and the tokens than the chief. But I don't think we play around languish. Our opponent uh, probably doesn't play the flashback if he has a languish in hand. So let's go with the more upside play here of P and Kieran. And I don't think we attack uh, because of that. Could also play the spy network right away, but that doesn't really accomplish much. Yeah, let's just play P and Kiran and pause the turn. So worst case scenario here, our opponent has Languish and sweeps the board. And best case scenario, he just plays a random creature. We play Spy Network and get in for lots of damage. And also draw a card. I did not pay attention to what the uh, Gate Creeper Vine got, if it was a forest or a swamp or maybe a guild gate. But looks like no language this turn, and instead a Malakir Kullblade. Interesting. Don't see this card very often. Alright, an attack for three is quite aggressive. I uh, don't really see a reason to block yet. Could also have a pump spell for a single green, but we're easily winning this race. And. Yeah, I think we just slam down this spy network and attack. Our opponent could block and then use a pump spell on a cold blade and perhaps kill the chief or P and Kirin, but that's just fine. Um, yeah, let's play the guild gate and then the spy network and then attack with everyone. And get our card draw right away. I guess we shouldn't have played our uh, guild gate in case we drew fiery impulse then we want to play mountain and maybe keep up fiery impulse. All right we don't get punished. And uh, twin bolt also a nice draw on this board with two one toughness creatures. And if he does have a languish here we can simply refuel with our two creatures so it's not the end of the world. All right this is not bad. Conclave Naturalist could kill the Spy Network, decides to kill the Chief instead, which is also an interesting decision. The, uh, the Chief certainly kills the opponent the fastest, which is a reasonable um, choice to kill the Chief because of that, but the Thopter Spy Network, if unchecked, will certainly win a game uh, that goes long. So let's see here, we've got two Twin Bulls, so our opponent's at the virtual 5 life. Plus we have the two uh, Thopters that can hit. Uh, at this point I don't think we want to play around uh, a Languish anymore. I think playing the Chief main phase 1 makes sense. And then we'll attack. We could clear a path uh, by Twin Bolting the Flashback Marauder. Um, but we're not going to attack with P and Kieran anyways. So I don't think we do that, we just attack with these. And see what happens with the spy network. Alright. Uh, let's see, opponents at 5. I don't think we need to play more creatures at this point. I think simply playing land and passing is good. We also have the P and Kieran activation, so... 
we can block, use PN Kieran to deal two to our opponent, and then Twin Bolt will kill him unless he gains life in some way, which I don't think is very likely. So yeah, I think I'll just block with a Thopter, uh, activate PN Kieran, and then uh, win on our turn. All right. It looks like we will get there. So block here, take three, doesn't really matter, and sacrifice the Thopter, deal two, sacrifice the Thopter, uh, what happened? All right, I must have misclicked there. That's what happened. Two there, sacrifice, Thopter, okay. And now we Twin Bolt. All right. So despite the misclick there, we still got there quite easily. All right, and let's move on to the next one. Alright, let's take a look at our opener. We are on the play. Uh, a little awkward with the two guild gates here, but we can still play one on turn one, which is fine. And then play two drop on turn three. Yeah, I think this hand's keepable. Very good against an aggro deck with two twin bolts. And it's got some late game power with behind Kieran. Alright, Evolving Wilds. We might be up against a three color deck. Island. Uh, yeah, let's just run out the Rune Servitor and pass the turn and see what our opponent's up to. Another Evolving Wilds, so pretty slow start over there as well. Another island. Okay. And we draw a Thopter Engineer. We can play that next turn. But for now we'll just attack for two. Play the Guild Gate and pass the turn with Twin Bolt up. And I guess we'll find out if our opponent's monocolored here. Or if he does have a second or third color. Alright, red mana. So must have some mountains in hand. And here we could play a twin bolt end of turn just to deal two, but I don't think we want to do that. Alright, mountain. Interesting. I think we want to... Hmm. We could play P and Kieran right now. But I kind of like having the engineer in play when we do play P and Kieran so the Thopters can attack right away. Um, let's see, what's the math here? So we play behind Kieran, we hit for two, um, and then next turn we play Thopter Engineer, we hit for seven, so we deal nine damage over two turns, uh, while if we play Thopter Engineer now, we hit for three, and then next turn we play behind Kieran, and we hit four, three, four, five, six, plus the three is nine, so the damage adds up the same, but what I like about playing the Thopter Engineer now over P and Kieran is that our opponent can't just Twin Bolt do Thopters, while if we play P and Kieran they can Twin Bolt do Thopters and that's pretty bad for us. Uh, the downside of course is that we don't use our mana as efficiently, but I think that's still fine. Uh, let's leave up blue and red mana, play the Thopter Engineer main phase 1 since the Thopter will have haste and hit for 3 damage. Disperse on the Thopter, all right. Still a fine trade for us, our opponent spending an entire card to only deal with half a card, basically. So we're definitely up on the trade there. Fourth land, Whirler Rogue, all right. We have the Twin Bolt to deal with Whirler Rogue. Definitely gonna kill the Thopters first. 
Uh, let's see. All right. So we could Epiphany and Twin Bolts, or we can double Twin Bolt. Could also just play P and Kieran on attack. But I feel like we want to Twin Bolt these right now, because if our opponent plays a Chief over the Foundry, then we might not be able to kill the Thopters anymore. So we're pretty locked in on using a Twin Bolt on the two Thopters here. The next question is, do we want to use the Epiphany or keep up the second Twin Bolt? It's an instant, so we can certainly use this on the opponent's turn and keep up Twin Bolt. Um, and I don't think what we draw off of the Epiphany is going to change our decision drastically. So I think I'm fine with just using the Twin Bolt right now, kill the Thopters. So we can attack with both creatures. Uh, yeah, I don't mind trading um, two damage here. Our opponent can block over here and only take two or he can trade, which is also fine. If he blocked here, then he can attack back for two. But we're, I think, ahead in the race, so that's also fine. And we draw Rune Servitor, which I think is better than keeping up um, Twin Bolts. And I think it's also better than um, playing the Epiphany here, since we want to have some board presence going. So yeah, let's run out the Rune Servitor. Play Sulfur Falls and pass a turn. So again, lots of decisions here. Let's find out if we made the right call. Another Whirler Rogue. So we have another Twin Bolt at the ready. And a Chase as well. Hmm. I think again we start by twin bolting the Thopters and attacking with the Servitor. And then hopefully at some point we can uh, play our own P and Kieran. Again attacking with both. Opponent likely trades again. And if we draw land, we can probably just play P and Kieran. Alright, Chief of the Foundry. Yeah, it's probably better to play the Chief here than uh, the Jace. Even though we could flash back something next turn already. But playing Chief here and then next turn P and Kieran seems pretty powerful. It's unlucky that we draw the creatures after attacking, but that's the way it is. Alright, that's the third double Thopter generator. So it's got two left in his deck. And Perilous Mirror. Interesting. Alright, so I think here we just slam P and Kieran and attack with uh, I think only the, th the Thopters here, otherwise our opponent could double block the Chief of the Foundry and we would only kill P and Kieran. Yeah, this seems fine. Opponent's gonna jump and then Twin Bolt. Disperse, alright. Still not the worst for us, but yeah, this hurts. Disciple of the Ring, that's also a pretty good mirror breaker here. Opponent can counter our non-creature spells, tap and untap stuff and pump it up. So we could play Jace and Chief here. And then next turn, play the other P and Kieran. We could play Chief and Perilous Mirror. Jace isn't great with the Disciple on the board. Our opponent's got two cards for fuel here. Hmm, interesting. 
So the downside of playing Piant Kiran here is that we have to sacrifice the original Piant Kiran or the new one. We still get the Thopters, of course. I think we want to play the Chief before playing Piant Kiran so our Thopters can't be twin bolted. So given that we're going to do that, I think we want to play Chief and Jace instead of Peril Smear. And then no attacks. We can also use P and Kirin on Peril Smear, for example, which is something we can keep in mind uh, to deal 4 damage total, which could actually kill the Disciple of the Ring, but not right now since it can just get plus 1 plus 1. I think we just play the Chief and then play Jace and pass the turn, and then next turn we can do some cool things. Not attacking. And this uh, Thopter Engineer has been pretty awesome so far. Opponent's got lots of lands and also a Founder of the Consuls. Alchemist's File, draw card. P and Kieran's gonna sacrifice the Vial to kill the Jace. All right. Not bad. I think it's fine to just play P and Kiran here and then attack with the Thopters we get. Let's see. Could also just sit on this Epiphany to get some cards going, but if your opponent then bounces this in response, that's pretty bad. Yeah, let's just play P and Kiran here. And attack with the Thopters. I should have kept the other one. Oh well. Doesn't really matter since we're not attacking with P and Kiran anyways. So hit for four, that's good. Play Guildgate and pass a turn. Disciple hasn't done a ton yet, but could start mattering very soon here. Jesse and Thief, alright, so our opponent certainly has uh, a lot of ways to clear a path for Jesse and Thief here with cards like Vile and Disperse, so it looks like it's this deck's less focused on artifact synergies. Exquisite Firecraft, gonna kill the Chief, it's not bad. But now we get to refuel with the Epiphany here. And Firecraft is also a good one. Alright, we've got lots of options. Our opponent's got three mana up and three instants and sorceries. So I think we just want to try and burn our opponent out here. So an attack with the Thopters put our opponent at eight. Sacrifice them both, that's another four damage, put him at four and then just use Firecraft to kill him. And we also have a Dispel Smear which can deal two damage, so I think that's our plan here. And uh, we don't really want to go long with a Disciple in play. So let's start by attacking with the Thopters and see what happens. If they connect, we're in a decent spot here. They do. I think I play Perilous Mirror here. And then we still have enough mana to activate and Kieran end of turn, and then next turn Firecraft plus activated again. And that should do the trick. And we also get Perilous Mirror on defense. Our opponent could make Thopters and then use P and Kieran to shoot our P and Kieran. But then we still get to deal 4 damage here. So I think sacrifice an artifact, deal 2 damage to our opponent, sacrifice Peril Smear, deal 2 damage to our opponent, opponent's at 4, and then we just Firecraft with Spell Mastery, which is uncounterable. Alright. 
There we go. Sweet. And let's move on to the next one. All right, let's take a look at our opener, which looks decent. Good against an aggressive start, not great at applying pressure. But I do like having a spy network in my opener, so let's keep it. And lead with the guild gate. Means we don't keep up impulse on one, but I think that's fine. Mountain into glory chaser. All right, would have liked to have the impulse there. But can simply play Perilous Mirror here. And there's not much your opponent can do about that. If he kills it, we kill the Glory Chaser. And otherwise, we can just block. And let's see if we get an attack. We do. And I'm fine with blocking. Alright, opponent takes two. And next turn we can still kill whatever our opponent plays here, like a Dragon Father. Uh, yep, let's Twin Bolt right now. And keep up Impulse. It is... Uh, sad that we just got rid of our only artifact for a spy network, but I'm sure that we'll find another Thopter somewhere that we can use for a spy network. Alright, let's see. Our opponent could have Titan Strength in his deck, uh, which is a reason to keep the Fiery Impulse in hand to use it in response. But I kind of want to kill this Arsonist right now. So take one. Alright, Engineer is perfect. So now we have an artifact for the Spy Network, as well as a 1-3, which blocks nicely. Although if our opponent attacks, I don't think I'm blocking. Since that could easily mean a Pump Spell or a Burn Spell on the Engineer. And having the Engineer around is pretty nice especially with the network. Another Arsonist is fine. And do we see an attack? We do. All right, I'll take it. And all right. Draw another land, so we could play the spy network here if our opponent kills our Thopter, that's pretty bad. So what I'm gonna do here is... Go to combat. Attack with our Thopter. If our opponent wants to kill it, he probably does it right now. And if he does, we can in response use the Epiphany. Yeah, he's considering it just decides to take one so we can play a land and pause a turn twin bolt end of turn and now we respond with epiphany now that we still have an artifact in play and draw two and we don't have to discard all right and that's a twin bolt less for opponent still have pearl smear for the spy network here all out attack. Yeah, I think I'll block now. Might as well block the arsonists. Opponent might have a pump spell here. Or a burn spell. Alright, it's a dragon instead. Good thing we have this firecraft. Discards Hordling Outburst, or rather, a uh, Dragon Father. Twin Bolt answers the goblins nicely, but first let's get rid of the dragon here. And pause the turn. Majoring Bully is fine. Does 
does our opponent want to attack? He doesn't. Alright, so now we get to play Perilous Mirror. And I think we just Twin Bolt the Bully right now before it gets any prowess triggers. What we could have done, I guess, is let the bully attack, just take it, and then kill the two goblins to clear a path for the Pearl Smear for the spy network. But just having the Pearl Smear in play and getting a Thopter is also fine, so the Thopter will be able to attack the following turn thanks to the hasty engineer. Opponent just had a land, and I think now is a good time to play the spy network. Not going to attack since then we'll lose our artifact. So we just have to hope our opponent doesn't find a way to kill the Perilous Mirror right now. Does attack with both? No, just with one. Well, I think I'm blocking. Or let's see. Kind of want to haste on the engineer though. Yeah, let's just take it. Just take one. And alright, we still have our Perilous Mirror. We get a hasty Thopter. And Whirler Rogue is also pretty sweet. So now we have to decide. I think playing the Rogue is better here since the Twin Bolt could still kill both artifacts. Although I guess if our opponent had a Twin Bolt, he would have used it already. Yeah. Let's play the Rogue. Alright. Move to combat and... Smash... With those. Keep our th Engineer on defense for now. Opponent takes it, we draw a card. Sweet, alright. So I think we can kill our opponent next turn already. Or at least we're very close to doing that. Get another hasty Thopter, Twin Bolt, alright. That should do it. Alright, there's the Titan Strength, which I think our opponent had a few turns ago already, but did not use it. Play the Chief. And let's see, block, block, take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, not quite enough. So let's not... Let's see. Block, block, take 11. That's not 12. Yeah, let's keep the chief on defense then. And the engineer as well. Alright, that's fine. Draw a card, play a land. Pause the turn. And Enthralling Victor. It's not bad here, but it's not gonna be able to kill us from 12. So we take one down to 11. And that's gonna do it. Get another Thopter. And I guess we'll play the Artificer. Give her some time under the lights. And press this lovely button that says Attack with All. And that's gonna do it for this gameplay. I wanna thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day.